In this lesson, I want to talk about what the search engine's spider actually sees when it comes to your web page. So it actually sees something different than what you see. It looks for the website, but it's not going to see all of these images. It's not going to understand what's contained within this image. Uh, it's going to be able to read out links. So if you have things like JavaScript, that's not going to be accessible within the web page and uh, making sure that your website has links so it can continue navigating and indexing your website if you're using videos. Uh, try to get a transcript of the video because the video of course it can't be read uh, so having a transcript, having a text content of the video is going to help the search engine bot read more and better understand what's contained within your website. So over here, I'm just looking at the source code of this WordPress site. So it's just a local WordPress site. And we can see here that all, there's a whole bunch of different content and a whole bunch of syntax here. And what the search engine is actually going to be able to read through, so it's going to read through all of this meta information here at the top. Uh, it's going to look for any robots text files uh, so that it understands what it's supposed to include and what it's not supposed to include. It's going to read through, uh, so when it gets to this JavaScript, it's not going to be able to actually render out and run the JavaScript. So all of this gets ignored. So if you have any links within your JavaScript or any content that you want output within search, uh, you got to be very mindful of the fact that JavaScript isn't being read by the search engine. So it will take a look at all of uh, this information here uh, so it understands what where you're highlighting. So the CSS, it'll understand what parts of your HTML you want to highlight. And then when it gets to the actual content, so it'll see all these attributes here within the elements. And then when it will come to an image, so we had an image down here, and once it hits that image, it's not going to be able to actually tell what's contained within that image, but it's going to look for this image and it's going to look for what's called alt tags. So we can see over here, this particular image doesn't actually have any alt tags. So this is definitely something that should be fixed up and updated within the source code of the content of the page. But when we go down further, we can see that this image does have alt tags. Uh, so this is properly structured because, again, the search engine will know that there's an image there and it will know uh, the size of the image and it will understand the technical information about that image, but it'll look to the alt tags uh, to be able to better understand what that image is about. And it's always a good idea to make sure that you're including these alt tags. We're going to talk about that in the upcoming lessons as well. Uh, so it's always a good idea to help guide the search engine to be able to read content that you mean it to read and understand about your web page. So Flash and JavaScript, uh, definitely try to avoid keeping contextual information in there that you want indexed within search. And also, in turn, if you don't want certain pages indexed, you can set up a robot.txt file, and this will help the search engine understand what pages you don't want indexed. And if you want help creating a robot.txt file, uh, so we've got a tool over here at seobook.com that helps you create uh, rules allow robots, disallow robots. So this will completely disallow that page. Uh, so the robots, once they hit this, they know that this page shouldn't be indexed. Uh, so you've got some additional rules there. Uh, you've got a sitemap URL, um, and then this is what's actually contained within your robots file. And it's very straightforward and simple. It's just a simple file that helps the spider understand what you want indexed and what you don't want indexed within search results.